Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah. What's going on, internet? And welcome back to Enter Level Entertainment, the most awesome series, comic book, and movie related YouTube channel in South Africa. I am your host, Z the Entertainer. And I'm definitely Peter Parker for this one. <laughs> <laughs> and again, as you've seen in the title of this video, we're about to dive deep into spoiler territory on Spider Man Far From Home. So if you haven't watched the movie, pause this video and go watch Spider Man Far From Home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My new disclaimer, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, what a mind-blowing freaking movie. Uh -huh. My goodness. Yeah. Well, I was feeling a bit iffy when um, Mysterio was revealed like almost like on the first scene. What? You didn't see movie. that coming? <laughs> You're not going to do this again, are you? <laughs> well, it's Mysterio. <laughs> I, at least I know what he's about. In fact, the point, uh, the fact that they revealed him so early, uh -huh. I knew straight away he's definitely the one. Yeah, I yeah. know. Because um, the fact that he mentioned 616 in the trailer and know. then again in the movie definitely set him as the villain. Because yeah. MCU is not 616. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess I got an inkling of that um, based on the fact that, okay, fine. After getting over the initial shock, I was like, okay, I guess maybe the first half of the movie is going to be them setting him up for his deception as a hero mm -hmm. and then later on we will deal with him being a villain. Made sense I guess for them to spread it out like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, he he acted that role pretty well though. Yeah, no, he was on point with this Mysterio. Mm -hmm. The way he does his reveal once Peter Parker actually hands over to the team. Dude! Oh, that was such that? a transformation. Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah. sorry, can I you? No, I was actually thinking back to I can't remember which arc it was that I read and where he also sort of tricks Peter Parker and oh, yes. he's sitting in front of a billboard that looks like it looks like he's on a beach in Malibu Oh, oh wow. yes, now that I think about it, wow He's sitting back and he's like, ah, screw you Spider-Man <laughs> <laughs> Wow, yeah, because I mean like you know, he started off as this like, you know, stoic hero with values and, mm -hmm. you know, like these things um, tore apart my home planet and, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sworn the last vanguard of the defenders or yeah. whatever. Meanwhile, all it was was buff. <laughs> I hated the word buff. <laughs> Guys, the next time your superior gives one of your creations a name you're not happy with, Try saying an email. Yeah. You know, set up a meeting. Don't kill people and try and take over the world. Yeah. Don't, don't initiate an Avengers level crisis. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> then the Avengers initiative is going to have to come and kick your ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I missed the off world. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like Thor. <laughs> so, like, Thor was off world where? On a fair farm? <laughs> no, it's at camp. Ah. <laughs> So I guess what, Gamora's gonna help him with his cardio? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Po would like that. <laughs> Why? Well, he's got no say in it. Apparently they're the As Guardians of the Galaxy now. As Guardians? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said it like I said. Hey. No one heard me. I said it like I said. Did you? Did you? But no, man. Um, so we even got like a uh, Easter egg shout out to the chameleon. Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, the name is uh, Jameson is oh, back in there. Oh <laughs> my god! Give that... me pictures of Spider Man. Oh, dude, I was gonna build up to that, but yo, now they were there. Uh, like that, I think was for me from a post credit scene as well. I think that was the most mind blowing moment of the movie for yeah. me. You know, them tying in the Raimi universe because mm -hmm. wow. you hear his voice just yeah. before they reveal his face. <laughs> And, and I know that voice. Yeah, you, know. yeah, that slight moment of like you know tri trepidation, like wait, no, mm -hmm. could it be him? Yeah. Wow. So like Chris Evans <laughs> and uh, Michael B. Jordan, <laughs> he's now going to be delving in two different universes because he's Commissioner Gordon. If that's going to continue yeah. in DC, and now he's also um, J. Jonah Jameson. Wow. Well, he was originally James Jameson. He was, he was, he was, he was. But well, that raises some interesting questions, because now... Who else are going to back? Yeah, because he does have a son. Oh, yes, Joe. 
Junior, <coughs> Jonah J. Jameson Junior, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> too many James. Okay, but James yeah, yeah. Uh, swiftly moving along. <laughs> yes, sorry. <laughs> if they follow the '90s continuity mm-hmm. or even the Venom storyline, mm-hmm. well, they can't do that now, can they? It's still Sony. It's in partnership with Sony. True, but I mean, like, um, his origin story has already been set up outside of Spider-Man. Outside of New York. <laughs> Uh, oh yes, that's true, but still, like it can't be the same 19 version of him. He's got no reason to hate Peter Parker. Yeah, but if he meets a spider-powered individual, yeah. the Soviet might be inclined to bond with him. Okay, fair enough, we can at least get the black suit Spider-Man, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Um, and then maybe the, the white symbol as well. Throw that off, because... It's not about that killing man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, he definitely not. He just wants to go on a trip, tell the girl he likes and how he feels, you know, he before she outs him as Spider Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't really help us. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so when you actually watch the movie, you see how she kind of figured it out. Mm-hmm. And she even said she was only 60 to 70, ah, 67% sure. Yeah, <laughs> pretty accurate percentage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, has she never heard of rounding off? <laughs> But she, she's actually quite a good Mary Jane. Um, yeah. You know, like very different, you know, like to the Mary Jane we know from the comics, you mm. know. But very similar in the fact that she figured it out quite early. Well, yes, like, I mean, he's fine. Yeah. Yes, no, they kept all the important traits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but she's a lot more down to earth, aloof, you know, she's above it all. Um, and uh, much. Actually, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Just sorry. No problem. Jumping around here. Mm. Like going back to when he had his first fight with Mysterio and there were all the illusions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Called to Marvel Zombies. Oh, yes. The Tony of the, the, yeah. Tony Stark thing. Oh, the wow. gravestone of Ben Parker. But there was also the scene of Mysterio holding her over the bridge to drop her. Really? Is that also a call from the comic? Ben Stacy. Oh, wow. Mm, just... But that was the Goblin, right? And, yeah. Uh, and Ben Stacy. Okay. Wow. <laughs> My god, I need to burn up on my Spider-Man reading, guys. Yes. Jeez. But what I was thinking though, um, you know, with the merger of the Sam Raimi universe and the MCU, um, now that we've got J.K. Rowling, uh, sorry, not J.K. Rowling, <laughs> not, not, not the author of Harry Potter, <laughs> J.K. Simmons as The J. spider who loved <laughs> With the newspaper editor who shall not be named. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, um... I, I heard speculation, I think it was, at some point, that Tobey Maguire might be making a cameo as Uncle Ben. You know, because we have... That might fit. Because we have a de-aged May Parker. Mm-hmm. And speaking of May Parker... Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and the post credit scenes. Oh, wow. Probably a lot of you were disappointed with Nick Fury until you saw the final... Tell me scenes. you stayed for those mm-hmm. post-credit scenes, guys, because they made that whole thing make sense, especially with Nick Fury. Mm-hmm. And it's probably the setup of Sword. Yes. Um. Yeah. I think that all, it can only be. Yeah. Really. I mean, he's in some sort of you know um, high-tech uh, s- station, and it's in space, and there's personnel all around, and it's Nick Fury, yeah. the leader of Shield. <laughs> you know. Of the so ah, <laughs> <laughs> he's up there. Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, um, sorry, that was a callback to one of the Unbelievable Spider Guys videos. Yeah, you need to check them out. It's the Captain America one. Uh-huh. You need to watch it and you'll you'll get the reference we just made. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think that's definitely sword. That's definitely yeah, sword. Yeah, Wasn't there some, um, in the comics, some lady who ran it who also dated Beast? Uh, yeah, she was half... Was she half mutant, half alien? Something along those lines. Mm. I just know she wasn't all the way human. Mm. I, I know she was half Asian, I just can't remember what. Was she alluded to at any point during the movie? No, oh, no. Actually, yeah, because there was quite a bit to look at in that last scene. Yeah, there was, was. There a lot of personnel around. Yeah. She might have been floating around. She has green hair, so if any of you I was about to say, her, yeah, <laughs> you probably identify with the green hair. So we need to see this guy. But yeah, no, man, that was, that was brilliant. And um, there was another scene that I wanted to actually talk about. Well, okay, of course, with um, sticking to the post credit scenes and, um, you know, J. Jonah Jameson coming through, uh, we are now getting onto that whole arc of there is now a Daily Bugle mm-hmm. and there is now Spider-Man being turned into a criminal. Yeah. That was quite uh, out of left field. I was not expecting that at all. Mm-hmm. It's like they took the stuff from Civil War, mm-hmm. well, 
the reveal in Civil War that he did in the comic books and like Okay, since we didn't do it here. Yes, his I am Iron Man moment, which was forced upon him. Yeah, by yeah. Iron Man. <laughs> by Mysterio. In this case, Mysterio. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, that was cool. Oh, speaking of Iron Man moments, um, when he was making the suit. Oh, yeah. Wow. I love Led Zeppelin. It wasn't Led Dude. Zeppelin, but uh, I love the fact that he tried. Wow, that was such a shot for shot callback. It. <laughs> to Iron Man 1, mm -hmm. you know, and he even did it exactly the way Tony does it when yeah. he took that hologram. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. You could see the look in Happy's face, like, he was just so happy. Uh, yeah! <laughs> He's like, you know, Tony loved rock music while you were working too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care you got the name wrong, kid. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just go on with the <laughs> I'm gonna get you all the Led Zeppelin you want. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was brilliant, man. And that was such an emotional moment for Happy as well. Yep. Um, <laughs> Happy's messed up shield throw. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. And even the callback to Endgame, when um, Spider-Man came out wielding some sort of oh, yeah. nice yeah. Yeah. shield. Oh, yeah. shield. shield. Dude, uh, that movie was chock a block full of fan service and easter eggs. It was mm -hmm. amazing. And actually, yeah, they've shown that this Spider-Man is a proper thinker. Mm. He's not uh, too many guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he doesn't flash mob when <laughs> someone rejects him. <laughs> no, but yeah, I mean, like, they showed that sciencey part of his brain. Even that time when he was caught without his suit, you know? Yeah. Some of the... Um, the solutions he was coming up with in like you know saving the the civilians and so on and so forth that was so awesome mm -hmm. yeah and ending fight as well like mm. when, like you said when he comes up with his oh, mason yeah 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 because he like tests it first to check yeah. okay it hits it up yeah <laughs> shoot <laughs> <laughs> let me try this first then wow, this. <laughs> dude and the combos he was coming up with afterwards uh -huh. with that thing that was amazing and he finally masters his peter tingle yes <laughs> <laughs> So we're going with Peter Tingle on this channel too, apparently. <laughs> For now. For now. How? I oh. say that begrudgingly. Oh, I don't <laughs> want to read those comments after this video. <laughs> but um, now that um, fight sequence again against Mysterio, uh, where he was like, you know, using all the illusions and everything, that was masterfully done. Oh, you know? yeah. That is how you do a comic book movie in this day and age with mm -hmm. the technology we have at our disposal. Mm -hmm. That, like, I mean, you know, every sequence I've ever seen with Batman fighting Scarecrow with Fear Toxin pales so much in comparison to that scene. Mm -hmm. That was so well done. I did not look for help <laughs> in disparaging <laughs> my own universe. Thank you very much. Your universe <laughs> can do it on its own. Look, there's a multiverse, there's 52 of them. Maybe the cinematic one is just one of, you know, there's 51 left, guys. There's 51 left. At least we name our universes correctly, unlike a certain fish bobblehead villain. Yeah, but he made up that story. Yeah, <laughs> just like he made up his whole identity. <laughs> Look at that, how is that for a villain with substance? <laughs> I bop at that comment. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so did Tony Stark. <laughs> so anyway... Mysterio <laughs> built that identity <laughs> with Backst a guy from a cave. <laughs> Backstage, apparently. <laughs> with a scowl. <laughs> <laughs> and a perfectly iron cave. <laughs> so seriously, his whole crew was just disgruntled employees of Tony Stark? It seems like it, yes. Oh yeah. my yeah. god. Did they, have they not heard of CCMA? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Does America have a CCMA? <laughs> Probably not. I mean, they've got Donald Trump. Nope, just kidding, guys. Uh, just kidding, just kidding. We and want how subscribers. would you take Iron Man... I mean, the last time they tried to take Iron Man to court. <laughs> that worked out too well. <laughs> yeah, did they end up disagreeing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you tried to play ball with those ass now. Oh my god. <laughs> and all I heard was from... A dude who looks suspiciously like Donald Trump, actually. <laughs> Screw you, Mr. Stark. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, buddy. <laughs> so yeah, CC may no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. No, no, I don't think they do. <laughs> no, but that was brilliant. Um, oh man, there were so many things that I actually wanted to highlight because there was so much there. Mm -hmm. Even like you know some of the motivational moments, you know the pep talks. Oh, yeah. There was that one. Um, don't apologize for being the smartest guy in the room. You know, that was very sort of like, you know, you, you need to own your uniqueness, you know, your yeah. your quirks that make you special, that yeah. you can actually use as, like, they can be perceived weaknesses, but they can actually turn out to be strengths. Actually, that's the one thing I like about the MCU Spider-Man as well. Mm. It's not so much the story of Peter Parker becoming Spider-Man, it's mm. more the story of 
uh, Spider-Man learning who Peter Parker is. Actually, actually, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and seeing the value in himself outside of the costume. That's why I love Spider Island. If you all haven't read it, go check it out. <laughs> Which reminds me of a certain scene in Spider-Man Homecoming. Remember when Tony said, if you think you're nothing without the suit, you don't deserve it at all? Yeah. It's what you just said is a continuation of that, actually. <laughs> but he really screwed the pooch hard. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, wait, yeah, hold on now. Yeah. He did screw the pooch hard when he gave Mysterio control of Edith. Yeah. <laughs> A high-tech device that controls basically weapons of mass destruction, like, not just on Earth. But, well, I mean... <laughs> and he targeted the school been... bully? <laughs> with a nuclear missile? <laughs> it, not, it was not a nuclear missile. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I know. Oh, sorry, yeah, no, it was only going to kill a handful of people <laughs> as opposed to a whole and town. And he did stop that? Yes, mm -hmm. by damaging public property. <laughs> Tony's public property, which he gave to Peter. Really? Tony owns roads in Europe? Oh, this is a new development. <laughs> Tony owned everything. <laughs> and thanks to that fact, <laughs> they are now still alive. <laughs> hey, not everybody works for Tony. <laughs> <laughs> well, damage control does. Damage control does. <laughs> they did. <laughs> Until Michael Keaton was cast of the vulture. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, that, look, there was a brilliant movie. Mm -hmm. um, if I could think of any more spoilers right now, I would. But I think, yeah, we're pretty good now. I mean, we're well into the runtime here. So, yeah, guys, if you guys have got anything else to add, let us know in the comments down below. Let us know what you thought of the movie, what you thought of this review, what spoiler did we miss, what Easter egg movie. <laughs> Places they never go